A biopsy is a medical test which involves extraction of sample cells or tissues for examination to determine the presence or extent of a disease. Biopsies are most commonly performed for insight into possible cancerous or inflammatory conditions. When an entire lump or suspicious area is removed, the procedure is called an excisional biopsy. An incisional biopsy, or core biopsy, samples a portion of the abnormal tissue without attempting to remove the entire lesion or tumour. When a tissue sample or fluid is removed with a needle, the procedure is called a needle aspiration biopsy. The Arab physician Abul Qasas, who lived between 1013 and 1107, developed one of the earliest diagnostic biopsies. He used a needle to puncture a goiter and then characterised the material. The French dermatologist Ernest Beignet introduced the word biopsy to the medical community in 1879. The term comes from the Greek bios meaning life and opsis meaning a site. After a biopsy is performed, the sample of tissue that was removed from the patient is sent to the pathology laboratory. A pathologist is a doctor that specialises in diagnosing diseases by examining tissue under a microscope. When the laboratory receives a biopsy sample, the tissue is processed by cutting it into extremely thin slices, then attaching a slice to a glass slide. Any remaining tissue is saved for later studies, if required. The slide with the tissues attached is treated with a staining dye, which allows the individual cells in the tissue to be seen more clearly. The slide is then given to the pathologist, who examines the tissue under a microscope, looking for any abnormal findings. The tissue may also be analysed chemically. The pathologist then prepares a report that lists any abnormal or important findings from the biopsy. This report is then sent to the physician who originally performed the biopsy on the patient. <laughs>